this is our tiny home tour. Actually, no. This is the RV we are living in, right? Tell everybody. No? Okay. So I've started peeling stickers off the walls. These are our lovely brown cabinets and our vinyl walls. Uh, aluminum blinds, which actually do help keep the sun out. There were these little, like, curtain things that had, like, a, a cardboard curtain. Sorry, I've peeled on my hand. A little like a cardboard curtain piece that went over the top or whatever it is. Um, I hated them, I took them down. I wanna paint the walls white, I wanna paint the cabinets white. It already has the silver or brushed nickel or whatever knobs and hinges, which is great. I need to take this little border off. I started taking it off right there. Uh, I wanna redo the floors. We have to keep the fridge and freezer open because you cannot run the AC and the fridge without tripping a breaker. I uh, need to reorganize where the TV is because you see it's been taken over by stuff. That's been taken over by stuff, both those cabinets and stuff. The only storage in the dinette is half of that bench. That side is not storage underneath, so we just put everything on the seat. We have the one, I guess, full-size bed, queen-size bed, I don't know. It's whatever it is, it's kind of close to a queen-size bed. And then this little couch folds down in the slide. Uh, my son sat up there for the night. He's been, the bed is like a half because I've been sleeping there and my son, my oldest son's been sleeping there and then my younger son's been sleeping there. Well, I kicked my son out of the bed earlier and that's where he landed. Uh, and then he left to go play the computer somewhere. So then that's our sink. That's, this is the gas stove. The gas is off. That's a little single burner. It's a microwave, which we can't use without tripping the breaker. That is a damp rid bag highly re recommend them for anybody, even if they're not in an RV. And then we've got a little bathroom here that is a royal disaster. There are stuff, we don't use this bathtub uh, or the shower, we shower at the house because we are camping in someone's backyard. But that, this is, this is it. This is what it looks like to live in an RV with two dogs and two boys and everything we own either in here or in storage it's every one of the cabinets you see is full everything to capacity it's under the bed is not full because it's these funny little bins i'll show you those real quick while i also show you the damage to the floor oh wow look look what i did to keep the cold air out when it was freezing so yeah it's got these funny little bins and i might have something in one of them but i'm not going to bother pulling that out so yeah I want to paint all this white, but I also want to resell this thing as soon as we're out of it. Like the second we're out of it, I'm going to do a few little tweaks and get everything like that flooring. I, I'm re pulling out the bed and replacing all of it. So uh, it was something that I, it was a problem I inherited. Anyway, this is what it looks like to RV full time stationary in less than 30 feet <laughs> with two kids and two dogs. Two boys and two dogs, a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old, yikes.